with me. Is it really you, my daughter? Yigit? Will you go? Yigit, you should stay here. I really need you, brother. I've always loved you, my dear. <laughs> Father? <laughs> I missed you so much. I'm with you always. Don't you worry, my son. You were always a good boy. You never left your father. The bullet is very close to his heart. What will happen, Amir? He said... He said that he won't leave, Sybil. He said that. And he's a man of his word. you, huh? It's nothing. We're just waiting. Nothing's happened yet, has it? <sighs> Good news. Your wife has just had a daughter. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> well, uh, how's, how's her health? She's on the small side. One kilo, 800 grams is her weight. But don't worry, everything's looking just fine. We took her to the incubator. 
One kilo, 800 grams, but that small? Uh, it's normal for a premature birth, but like I said, she'll be just fine. The mother's doing fine as well. You'll be able to visit her soon. <laughs> <laughs> the father looks a little terrified, doesn't he? Congrats again. Best wishes to all of you. <laughs> so she's a girl then. <laughs> so then tell me now, uh, what do the doctors say? Will I have a nephew or a niece? I don't know. I didn't want to know. I hope it's a girl. <sighs> I'd love it if the baby was a little girl. Probably because of the trauma that Yigit and I always went through. <laughs> isn't she? Sybil, come and see. I think that she's terrified that if she accidentally loves a child that her mothering instincts will be activated. Come over here. She's beautiful. It's like a miracle, isn't it? <laughs> She's so small. You think she'll have problems? No, don't worry. I spoke with the doctor and I asked a bunch of questions. Once her respiration is okay, they're gonna give her mother's milk. The doctor said that she'll easily catch up to the babies that were born full term. Both the baby and her father will make it out of the hospital. Don't worry. check on you again. A lot of time's just passed already. <sighs> All right, but don't go doing anything without my permission. You need to wait for us. Did you find that bastard? Yes, we found him. He was hiding out at Zephyr's grandma's house. Listen to me. I want them both alive. Sure thing, boss. <laughs> 